Thunder, 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 Thundercats, ho! I gotta stop drinking. Evening, folks, and welcome to the Weird Booze Weekend. As always, I'm Elliot Fox. Drinking with me tonight are... I'm Derek, if you don't know my name already, bitches. Bowser. All right. Well, we're past the halfway point in Season 2 here, and we're kicking off Episode 7 with a drink from a continent that we have not, up until this point, touched on the Weird Booze Weekend. We're going to Africa, and we're starting off with Ilala Cream Liqueur. Derek, tell us a little bit about it. Okay. The reason why we picked this bottle was clearly on the description of the back. Allow me to read it. Clear throat. Ahem. Since man first inhabited Africa, he has sought to capture the spirit and freedom embodied by the lion, king of the beasts. Legend tells of a mystical drink brewed from the sap of the Alala palm that was consumed at tribal festivals to honor the strength and majesty of the magnificent animal. Inspired by legend, Ilala Cream celebrates the splendor and exotic taste of Africa. With the authentic blend of natural spirits, fresh cream, and luxurious flavors of hazelnuts and caramel. Pretty much, it's said that zoo warriors would drink the sap of the Ilala palm to get the strength of the lion and the fertility of the lion. Not so, just the sap, they, they, would, they would ferment it. I mean, it was, it was an alcoholic beverage. So, I don't know about you, but we're getting the strength of lions. Ah! Wow. Well, I've got a magnificent beard. I got a scraggly one. Fantastic. Bowser, tell us what we're drinking tonight. I think we're going to start off, of course, classic. We're going to do a shop, see how we like. Then we're going to do a, a Lila and Coke. Uh, a what and Coke? A Lila? Ilala. 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 Okay, we're going to do a Lala and Coke. A creamy then, Coke. Then we're going to do uh, a Lala over coffee ice cream. After that, we're going to do a Bloody Mary. And to top it off, I think our favorite, White Russian. All right. But, as you have said, start things off the way we always do. Oh, he's opening the bottle for us. We're going to have ourselves a shot. Looks like I'm pouring. Um, Elliot, how do they toast in Africa? I am so glad you asked that because we, we way back at the beginning of season one, we looked up how they do toasts around the world, and we saw that the Zulu have a toast, and we've been wanting to do a Zulu liquor since we saw this. They say, Ugi Wawa. Ugi Wawa. Ugi Wawa. Wawa. You can freaking chant it, and it's great. So, Ugi Wawa. Ugi Wawa. Ugi Wawa. Ugi Wawa. Ugi Wawa. I can't fight this feeling. Oh, no, we've done that song before. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that is delicious. It tastes a lot like an I like the Bailey's Irish cream, but yeah. just the fruit flavor yeah, is coming through. There's a fruit coming on. And that. like a, a hint like of a, mint. Like, like I'm yeah, like but there's there's like there's, and there's like a, a little hazelnut. I love yeah. this. There's a back note of melon in there, like a like a honeydew melon. Yeah. And oh god, this is delicious. Oh, this is good. I know. I'm just like. <laughs> if there's any left over, this is going in my car. This is good. And this might be the new favorite. You know what though? We don't carry this at my store. It was a special order that I managed to sneak about. Well, while we're ordering more. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. On to next drink number one. All right, we're on our first mixed drink of the night. We've mixed Ilala with cola, specifically Johnny Ryan's cane sugar cola. Delicious stuff. And it curdled. It curdled a little bit, but I bet it's going to be tasty. <laughs> it reminds me a little bit like an ice cream float. A little bit. And I'm getting a big whiff of that, of that fruit, yeah. you know, that kind of melony smell from the Alala right off, off the foam on the top. It smells pretty good. And so, that, that foam has almost got like a meringue texture to it. It's like there's a lot of solidity to it. Let's drink this before it becomes poison. Okay. So, right. Oogie Wawa. Oogie Wawa. Oogie Wawa. Oogie Wawa. Oogie Wawa. Mm. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's delicious. That's weird. That's delicious. And that was just, that was a double jigger of uh, Ilala cream thrown into okay. almost an entire uh, bottle of Ryan's Cola. It was just, we basically filled up the glass. and. Uh, it's an interesting taste. It's... The foam is really weird. Yeah. It's almost like a pudding. The foam got cut through. Yeah. Like, I, like I said, it's like, it's got almost the consistency of meringue. But once you cut through it, it reminds me of a vanilla Coke. A little bit, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm You're getting, getting the fruit flavor. Yeah, that fruit note is coming way ahead. The, the cola nut is really bringing that out. 
I mean, it's good, but I don't see myself ever drinking this again. I, I do. The, the flavors are really, really nice together, but this is this is not particularly coming off as a cocktail. This is kind of just tastes like a flavored cola. But it's 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 tasty stuff. I really like. Like it. a hot summer day. I don't know. You know, you did, almost. I almost would say that this is like a spring or a fall drink. I wouldn't call it a fall. No. I'm just going to call it like, like this. You know, mid September, school's going back into session. You're sitting Mama's out there. Mama's got nothing to do but watch her soaps. The, well, I was going to say sitting out on the porch watching the co-eds come uh, file in on the campus. And... Sup, 18-year-old girl. I got this soda mixed with booze, wink. <laughs> Want to come up on my... <laughs> grad students. Grad students. Want to come up on my porch and drink my curdled drink? <laughs> wink. I hate you both so much. All right, guys. We're on to uh, mixed... Drink number two. Well, but now it's kind of a drink. Well, yeah, if we let it sit, it'll be a drink. What we've done is we've taken the Alala and poured a double jigger of it over some coffee-flavored ice cream. Uh, the traditional way that this stuff is drunk in South Africa is either served in coffee or over ice cream. We said, let's just combine the two. And these guys demanded cherries, and now they're putting them all in mud. I you didn't want cherries. cherries. You're the I one. And that's why you already have three in there. All I'm saying is this thing's melting, so oogie well, wawa. Oogie, oogie wawa. wawa. Wow. That's tasty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really tasty. <laughs> Coffee ice cream. That was a good choice. Yeah. And yeah, the Alala cream. What's really coming forward with that? I'm still and I'm still getting that little melony fruit note, but no, I'm getting more hazelnut. The hazelnut is mm -hmm. really coming forward. Mm. It's really showing with the uh, coffee. Yeah, yeah. This would make a great milkshake. Mm hmm. Oh my God, yes. Oh, the boys in the yard. All of them. Every one of them is going to come in for an olive milkshake. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> that euphemism got away from me there, I think, but <laughs> just a little bit. You're welcome. I'm going to have a little maraschino cherry. Mm. How does that taste? Pretty good. You should eat it. Probably tastes like a cherry. <clears throat> yeah, but a cherry covered in a lava. Lion cherries. Lion cherries. Oh, yeah. So, so you know, now that we're like two and a half drinks in, are you gentlemen feeling any stronger yet? Like, do you feel like you have the strength of lions yet? Not Small yet. house cat. Yeah. I'm at that level. Are you, are you, are you, are Small you house at, cat. Are you at snarf level yet, at least? Mm, snarf, snarf. No, not yet. Not yet? He's not at a snarf. I'm at Thundercat reboot snarf, so I'm not as cool. <laughs> this is really good, though. This is. Yeah. We don't have enough time to talk. We have to eat this before it melts. <laughs> I'm okay with it melting, because it's just be kind of becoming more like a cocktail. Actually, I will say this. I don't like it as much as when it's melted. No, mm -mm. Mm -mm. and maybe that's because now it's just like the coffee ice cream's a little bit gone. Well, and you know, oh good. So I'm losing. <clears throat> it's still good, but it's like I miss the coffee flavor. You know, what I am noticing the more it's melting though too is that oddly enough, the alcohol in it is coming. Yeah, out you can more. taste it more. It, 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 you know, you're getting that you're getting that taste of alcohol in your tongue that I have not gotten with this so far in the shot or the <clears throat> mixed drink. It almost has, you know how when you drink Bailey's, you can kind of taste the alcohol? Mm -hmm. Now it's starting to get to that level where you can actually kind of taste it. Where it's not like a burning, like I did a shot of whiskey alcohol. Like a nice... But it's there. Yeah, like in Bailey's. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is how the line strength comes. Through ice cream? Through, Through tasting the booze. You, just, you should just bottoms up that cup there. Just drink it. Just, just hug a lug that biz in there. Mr. Bond, are you prepared to talk? <laughs> now I am. Okay. <laughs> Next trick number three. Coming your way! Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. <laughs> okay, kids. I apologize for drink number three right now. Because your apologies mean shit. <laughs> we decided to make... I can't even do this. We just... Elliot's a monster, I'm and a monster. he decided to make Bloody Marys. But, you know, he decided, you know, instead of Tabasco sauce, we're going to throw in some, like, hot garlic, like chicken sauce <laughs> from Korea. I love how you describe it. It's, 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 it's Vietnamese. 
It's Vietnamese chili garlic sauce. I, and I have thrown those into Bloody Marys before when we've done them on the show. When we have, I've, I've used it in Bloody Caesars. I haven't used yes. it in a Bloody Mary before. I think we have to chew this. We might, we might have to chew this. What this is, this is, uh, this is a, a, a half jigger of Ilala cream with some bloody old Bloody Mary mix, which seemed to me to be chunkier than the last time we bought that stuff. And then I put, I put a nice teaspoon worth of Vietnamese uh, chili garlic. Oh, sauce. that was more than a teaspoon. But <laughs> it is thick and chunky and gross. But if you remember, the last time we drank a custardy thick drink at a blood, as a Bloody Mary, that was the Advocat in season one. And it turned out to be delicious. We were wholly expecting something horrible, and it was delicious. So my hopes are high, but my expectations are low for this. So Oogie Wawa. Oogie Wawa. Oogie Wawa. This is how you become a man, Bowser, okay? This is, this is, this is a rite of passage here. Mm. Strength of lions. Strength of lions. Strength of lions. I don't think a lion would drink this. I, it looks kind of bloody. I'm getting nothing but tomato. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm tasting Bloody Mary mix with a little bit of just a hint of after, aftertaste of custard. I don't got that. I don't got that at all. Oh, that is, that is revolting. I got it. That is absolutely revolt. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, halfway through about, I got the custard. Yeah. Revolting. <laughs> oh. The best way to describe it is that it's like cocktail sauce. It tastes like <laughs> shit. It tastes exactly like cocktail sauce. It tastes like He's rancid right. ketchup. <laughs> or that. Rancid cocktail ketchup. sauce mixed with rancid ketchup. Our drinks just got weird. Our weekends got weirder. <laughs> we're not even drunk. This is sad. No, we're not. We're really not. Oh, I ruined that line. <laughs> Oh, I want to throw up on this one. <laughs> it's okay. You're going to love the last one, I promise. I know, because it's a white Russian. Oh, it's going to be delicious. It's gonna be... This. This. <laughs> Who picks these? <laughs> it's usually me or Derek. Like, there's chunks in mine. <laughs> there are chunks in all of them. <laughs> this oh, was <laughs> precision. <laughs> like, if you didn't do that damn, like, Vietnamese <laughs> shit... It it's might be still, good. No, 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 because the Bloody Bold was incredibly thick and chunky this time. I think it would have tasted I need thing. to blame someone, so I'm blaming the Vietnamese. I blame Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> this is utterly revolting. It's, it's... The closer my mouth gets to the ice cube, the more drinkable it is. Mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> it's coming. <I'm laughs> <getting> a... <laughs> I can't... <laughs> Are we going to have our first vomiting on the Weird Booze Weekend? You might. We've been doing this for a year and a half, and nobody's ever booted before, during, or after filming. I promise you that. Pretty sure everyone likes the idea of just listening to us talking about people puking. <laughs> Which might happen if I drink this. On to the last drink! Please. please. All right. We're on our fourth and final mixed drink of the night. We've done ourselves a white Russian... Now this is made, uh, two parts Ilala to one part Kahlua, and fill the rest of the glass with milk over the top. We used whole milk, so it'd be thick and creamy. I almost want to say that this is this is more a, an Ilala variant on a Kahlua and cream than a white Russian, but... Yeah. Sure, why not? But we All I know is this is going to be a lot better than the last one. <laughs> Quite probably. So, Oogie Wawa? Oogie Wawa. Mmm. Oh, that's yummy. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. It's like taking one of those cream packets at a restaurant that's labeled with <laughs> hazelnut. A little bit. And just whipping shots back and forth. And again, I'm still getting, I'm still getting mostly that melon flavor. Yeah, the melon, the, the hazelnut. Ma yeah, I'm the getting melon, the, hazelnut. the hazelnut. I'm not getting any melon yet. I'm getting more hazelnut. Well, you know, and, and what's interesting, the, the one note that I don't feel really ever came out tonight in any of these was the caramel. I think the um, lion didn't come out tonight. Yeah, oh, the lion's bit. there. The lion's there. There's a little hint of it. Yeah? Yeah. But that is, that is easy drinking. It's. I kind of feel like I'm drinking a Warrior's Tonic right now. I don't know. Like. I feel like I'm drinking, like, chocolate milk. Yeah, that's a Warrior's Tonic. Yeah. Didn't you know? <laughs> when you were a kid, like, you know, you drank the regular milk. You're like, whatever, I, I'm getting strong bones. You drank the chocolate milk, and you're like, yeah! Oh, I usually drink my milk with whiskey in it. Good, good kid. Good kid. 
Good, good shit, that's I think out. you're making shit up. You know what? I don't think he is, honestly. Look Not at that him. Beard. I mean you. Me? With your, like, Warriors, like, tonic. You used to drink Ovaltine, and you know it. I love Ovaltine. I love it. Can't get enough of that Ovaltine stuff. Remember, kids, drink more Ovaltine. Anyway, let's rank our drinks tonight. Huh? Uh... Bowser, why don't you kick us off with our rankings? Like it is the top, as, as the best drink of the night. Yeah, I go with the, the white Russian, and then the way, fuck way, is. way down at the bottom. Oh my god, you the chunky to... Mary, <laughs> the yes. afterbirth, yes. the, <laughs> the, the terrible afterbirth, the atrocity of the white man. <laughs> vile. I, think, I think it was mostly the garlic. Yeah, no, I think it was. I think it was every component of that just did not work harmoniously. Derek, what do you think? I'm thinking at the top, I'm putting this. Okay. And then at the bottom is going to be the atrocities that the white man has done to the South Africans. <laughs> the apartheid? Yes. Are we calling it the apartheid? I'm calling it apartheid. It <laughs> because was terrible. I ruined it. Nelson Mandela came and fixed that. <laughs> He's crying in his grave because <laughs> I ruined the South African drink. <laughs> But Morgan Freeman <laughs> is here on the back burner to go, okay, I can, we need, we need I can get rid of this. We need a corner that ticks off how many people and nationalities we have. We've life. offended. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm Doesn't... still not the worst. <laughs> no. Okay. I think I'm in agreement with you, fellas. I'm going to put this at the top of the list. That's really, really yeah. tasty. You better be in agreement. And again, again, I'm, I don't think any of the drinks that we're really drinking tonight are... You know, very none of them are strong cocktails. Yeah. This is the strongest that we've had, just because it's got two like alcoholic this beverages. Great right. after dinner drink. Yeah, it's a really nice digestive. I wouldn't be um, going to a bar and you know asking for stuff like that. So, so yeah, top of the list, and that, and then way down at the bottom Probably. of the list, I'm in total agreement with these guys. That that <laughs> that hemorrhage that was that was chunks in a glass with like a little hint like, of Ilala in there. It was anal seafood. Oh, Jesus it was Christ. someone's aside. Uh, you was... got shrimp cocktail in my Alala. You got Alala in my shrimp cocktail. Terrible, terrible. <laughs> but uh, but I think as a whole, really tasty stuff. Ilala, uh, I really enjoyed it. If you find this stuff, give it a taste because it's 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 got a real unique flavor to it. Um, and I think you can have a lot of fun with it. I look forward to trying this and some other things. We've still got a little bit left in the bottle that... Uh, we're gonna drink down after the after the camera show. So, thanks for oh. joining us. Are you dying? Yes. My body has to be cleansed so that way the lion can come forth. Rawr! Give him one of those bloody mares. That'll cleanse him. That'll that'll clear you right out. And I will say this too. Uh, it's the first drink on the Weird Booze weekend that I have poured out after the camera stopped rolling. Uh, so that's saying something. Do not mix Ilala with Bloody Mary mix and Vietnamese chili garlic sauce. It's a bad day. It's a bad, bad day. Unless you want to fuck with your friends at the bar, in which case, do it. I'm pretty sure they won't drink it just from the sheer smell. Yeah. It yeah. Was just bad. Yeah. So if you got a friend whose senses are kind of damaged, pick on them. Like if you took a bottle rocket up the nose. You, you have to be emotionally damaged to give this to a friend. <laughs> Good night, America. Good night. Oh, we mow it. Oh, we mow it. Oh, we mow it. In the jungle, oh, we mow it. 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 In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. I love you. If you want to see previous episodes of the Weird Booze Weekend, click on Derek! Help, he has my wife and kids! What did you put on him? And if you want to subscribe, get Bowser! Oh shit! Next time on Weird Booze Weekend, we drink Amarula.